Greetings world. We are Anon DK. The silent weapon for a quiet war. Nuclear electromagnetic pulse. The E. M. P. This is looking like the way to go. America has made many enemies and an EMP would definitely shut the country up for good. The main show America has been vigilant to create is Russia. And Russia is not one to say a word before it strikes. Putin is a viper in the sand. He likes his weapons as he is himself, silent in total. He is a man of force. It is important to know that what is happening with the sun right now, can easily have the same effect as an EMP on us all. However, we will look at what we can fix. So what the hell is an EMP? An EMP is a high intensity burst of electromagnetic energy. Nuclear meaning radio frequency. Weapons. Non-nuclear weapons. Though geomagnetic storms can power an EMP, the resulting change in the magnetic field in the atmosphere can disrupt electrical systems. An EMP attack from a single 10 kilo nuclear weapon would result in blackout of an area such as the U.S. Eastern Grid for months or years. Even one month would be crippling. An EMP detonated at an altitude above 30 to 70 kilometers could be delivered by a short-range missile fired off a freighter, as Iran has been practicing hundreds of kilometers offshore. The result would be no communications, no transportation, no fuel, no food, and no water until it was all rebuilt. Would take a few years to a decade. The yield of an EMP explosion is lower than most think. Neutron bombs, or advanced radiation weapons such as super EMP weapons, are basically very low yield H-bombs. They have yields of 1 to 10 kilotons. A super EMP weapon is designed to produce special effects. Gamma rays. In the case of super EMP, a super EMP warhead could be far more deadly and dangerous than the most powerful H-bomb ever built. A single super EMP warhead detonated in the sky 300 kilometers over the center of the U.S. would generate such a powerful EMP field over all 48 contiguous states that would result in a nationwide blackout where even the best protected U.S. military forces and C-3I on all military bases would be affected. Russia's Tsar Bomba the most powerful H-bomb ever detonated produced a yield of 60 megatons in 1961. A super EMP weapon detonated 300 kilometers above the center of the U.S. could destroy the entire nation's industrial and military capacity, among many other things. Imagine if an EMP hit right now. You would not hear it or feel it. No need to fear for that. Unlike American bombs thrown at other countries, this one would not melt your skin off or disintegrate your home and everyone you love. It will simply silence you all. No phones. No internet. No electricity. No heat. This means for everyone and everything. Businesses. Trains. Planes. Cars. Banks. Everything silent. Now imagine how the American government will react to silence. Unable to see outside. Unable to communicate not even to beloved NATO. And everyone will be cut off from communicating to America. It would be a dark hole. One can only imagine the chaos that will ensue because of selfish citizens with guns. Fires will break out and be set and will not be stopped. People will resort to violence immediately and slaughter will ensue. Rest assured in the land of the brave. None are more afraid and savage. Brainwashed and violence non-stop. They will legally embrace the purge lifestyle they have been fed to think is a normal reaction for a decade now. Survival of the fittest mindset instead of we can all survive and work together as humans. Survival would be very simple. But that is not how Americans will react. Nor its government. USA will panic in as the citizens destroy the country from the inside. The government will do all it can to obliterate everyone else in the world. It will be firing blind at us all in a frantic retaliation. Countries that have nuclear EMP capabilities that can and are willing to hit USA should be no surprise. 
Russia has had the ability since the 1990s and has used it to down planes and drones flying over its airspace unauthorized. China has had Super EMPS for a while now as well, as it has always traded with Russia. They have the same weapons and capabilities. In 2015 it was announced in a US military defense report that China's proxy country, North Korea, had nuclear ICBMs that can hit USA they have EMPS. Of course. Likewise, Iran has continuously been played as a violent and aggressive force. Yet it has had these weapons for many years and not used them against US. They are taught about EMP attacks on US in military textbooks. All of these countries have had many successful drills and are able to easily reach USA which in the meantime created this. Instead of being responsible and acting like as the country it was, in 2008 Congress estimated that within 12 months of an EMP attack, 90% of the population would be dead. Really? Americans cannot survive one year without their phones, and their government, that is just disappointing, seems to fit nicely with the elite's agenda for depopulation as well. The American government back in 2008 already assumed Americans would never be able to survive that they will kill themselves in less than one year. And still this loving American government has done nothing at all to protect the citizens from this imminent attack. We have pointed out the prophecies regarding America's destruction in previous videos so we will not spend time on it here. Recent military writings and exercises combine EMP with cyber attacks, sabotage and kinetic attacks against national electric grids and other critical infrastructures. So we should expect a combo attack. Le legislation to protect the grid is now in Congress, though this has been well known by US military defense for decades, with nothing being done. Technology to protect the electrical grid is relatively straightforward and inexpensive, as most solutions to problems are. However it requires action. The two bills shield and SIPA that have to do with EMPS are in the Senate waiting to be discovered. An executive order was passed in October to prepare for space weather events. EMP All this CO dim, as most have, is hand all control and power to the OD which is FEMA. Recently, Moscow ordered all Russian citizens, diplomats and students traveling, working or studying abroad to immediately return home. 40 million Russian citizens, which is one third of the total Russian population, held a massive nuclear war defense drill. Moscow has underground facilities to house 12 million residents under the city in safety. Also Putin responded to NATO's nuclear missiles being activated against Russia in Romania and Poland by ordering his nuclear missiles in Kaliningrad the Russian enclave between NATO members Poland and Lithuania. To be made ready, NATO has been running its usual drills as well as increasing them. Specifically in Poland, NATO has been running EMP attack drills. Several other countries have also taken action, including Germany and Sweden by warning and preparing their citizens for nuclear war, running drills and building shelters, recommending they have at least three months of food and water stored up in shelter. America is totally dependent on electricity for every aspect of life, and it has no protection over its lifeline. But why have these countries not attacked yet? They all have a large number of legitimate reasons to strike the USA, but they lay in waiting. They are not bloodthirsty. They do not have the craving for war and death that the Americans do. We may not know the time they will attack. So prepare yourself with EMP proof safety boxes to store a laptop and phones and batteries in. There are very simple steps you can do to prepare yourself. Store food and water on water cleaners and help your neighbor. Who is to say there would only be one EMP detonated? would be foolish not to fire a few dozen off to be sure the job was done. As this is just a taste of what is likely to come, at any time, act accordingly, get out while you can, be prepared, fear nothing, 
expected.